call me Bond. Third party Bond. <laughs> the story of this figure is so weird because that little winter break between Christmas and New Year's, I love that because I could actually relax and maybe put a movie on and hang out with family. I just wanted to like put on like an action movie and watch something. I put on HBO Max and I saw Skyfall and I was like, you know what? Let's do that right now. Well, it was awesome. I had such a good time. I look online and guess what's coming out? A freaking... The uh, a third party James Bond Daniel Craig figure that looks perfect is coming out at the same time I'm in my James Bond height. I love when that happens and I can't believe that that happened. That's so funny. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Muff 112 in that Mezco font standard edition. There is a deluxe edition with a little metal stand that's like 10 bucks more. It looked cool. I just don't ever use stands and I didn't care. This thing isn't cheap. It was like 80 something dollars, but I am in my third party era. I love third party figures. Some of my favorite figures go watch. I just posted a top 10 figures of 2023. A few of those were third party. I just third party is killing it. English and Japanese and you could iron stuff. It says I don't need instructions on how to play with my toys. Um, how to I just, I, I wanted to just make an inappropriate joke, but you cannot do that on YouTube. And that sucks. 10 years ago, you you had to. You actually had to make inappropriate jokes. Very nice, but I'm like seriously in love with this box. I love box. Box is my, f I love, I love box. Um, but yeah, I just, I really, I gotta just, I can't stress that enough how nice the figure looks. Totally, I'm a Muff Toys fan now. I love Muff. And I love box. So we have the card now. I would have liked to see more accessories in here. Popping out. Let's okay. Let's just drop them out and take a look at everything. Oh, I lost something already. I lost. I lost a tiny piece already. Where to go? Be very careful when you're taking this out. Okay. Let's take a look at some of the accessories. So right off the bat, we have a picture of Ava Green very cute it's not the they should have used the picture from the second movie we have his watch which is really nice it's even got a gloss on top of it oop again everything is very tiny and you could lose all this in no time i think this looks like a similar gun to the one leon has in the remake of resident evil i don't know i don't know i think you plug put do you plug that in the bottom? okay there you go yeah you plug it into the bottom right there very nice Nothing says movie guns like a silencer because you know all guns get really silent when you put a little thing on the front But so there's a little hole that you're gonna pop that right in Hey, yo, and it goes in you're gonna have to be careful though. Hey, yo Okay, there you go. So you stick it in there and now you got a nice little pee pee Bro, what are you talking about man with a long nose silencer and a gun again gun people are like this as for the hands we have two fists Gun holding hand and what looks like maybe even a the picture. You could hold the picture with that hand. Then we have another hand, which I think is for underneath the gun stock. Like to create, you know how he does that, that pose? Like, call me Bond. James Bond. And then we have these little um, cuffs. What are they? The uh, suit cuffs that you could put on this figure. I guess if you lose them, I guess so. All right, and then yeah, on his on the figure, which is weird because they nor oh, okay, I already feel it. He's got the good body on. Okay, he's got a good body. Bro, I'm out, man. He has the open hands on on figure, which is weird. Normally, you would put the fist hands on stock figure. So, all right, let's take this off. And this is the money. This is what you're paying for. This is like really what a lot of the the majority of the money is going to is this head sculpt which I really wish we got two head sculpts. Um, this Bond, like like a, an expressive face would have been good because he, he, I think he's, right? He's the Bond that got the most down and dirty. But it, it looks really good. Now, what I would say is the eyes are not blue enough. It, in the Bond Craig movies, they almost made his, I think they put a filter over his eyes. In some scenes, it looked like he literally was glowing. You know, and uh, that's really, and the hair is a little dark. Um, 
But again, it looks so damn good. This is like Hot Toys quality. You're really paying for good quality. This is, this couldn't have hit at a better time too. So we have a crazy amount of butterfly joints. Look at that. Oh no. I Okay, this is something I wanted to see if you could take his suit jacket off and have him with this shirt, just a plain shirt, and you cannot. He has like a, if you take off his shirt, oh no, you take the jacket off and he's a Chippendales dancer. No! That is really funny. Now, this looks like the Gomez, Mezco Gomez body or something maybe. Or even the Not A Man body. But I'm going to put this back on because it was not meant to come off. But yeah, that, that is the only way to get the articulation in the sleeves of the arms is if you don't have anything there. Like, wow! Wow, that is amazing articulation for a suited cloth body. I am very, very, very happy with this figure. Uh, it's quality and you could feel it like it, it was, was expensive, expensive but definitely, definitely was, was worth, worth it. it. Is, is there, there a, is there a wire, wire in this jacket? jacket? Oh, I don't know. It feels like there might be a small wire in the jacket i could be wrong but it it like listens to you like when you when you move it it kind of like moves and it, it stays i don't know okay all right i'm just trying to get a feel of the figure right now first i'm just trying to get a feel of the figure first okay the hands pop right off yeah i really do i think this is a not a man body but the version two with the neck peg i see why they gave you extra Cufflinks, one just popped off of mine already. Wow, wow, wow. This figure looks really, really good. I am, I, I just, I cannot believe actually how amazing the face sculpt is. Like it, pictures and video do not do it justice. It looks like a little person with the body. It's super articulated, double jointed knees. You're not going to want the toe articulation with these type of shoes it'll break up the sculpt now n this cool thing that's on the bottom is his shoes say 007 on them very cool little just a little extra for no reason but so i have to say this figure is a must buy if you are a james craig fan james james craig Daniel Craig, James Bond fan. I am very, very happy. I almost want, I want them to do the other Bonds. There, I want a Connery. I want a Roger Moore. Uh, maybe even a Brosnan just for, I never liked their, the Brosnan movies, but I love GoldenEye on the N64. Is my favorite, favorite N64 game. I love that game. The multiplayer is the best. I will fight. I will play anyone on that game and win. That's all I'm going to say is goaded. What the only thing I would say is maybe a few extra accessories just for fun. I really think it's got everything you need for Bond, but maybe something else just for fun, just for the fun sake. A shirt. I would have liked a long sleeve shirt option and then the suited vest option. Like I like the suit. He takes off the suit jacket a lot and it would have been nice to have a white t-shirt variant click a video on screen and i will see you in the next toy review i'm gonna play with this guy now hey oh shout out to all my channel members you guys are amazing if you'd like to become a channel member in the description is the link check it out